Speeding. Hi everyone, how are you doing? Um, it's me, Archie, here. We're in the beautiful Prospect Park in Brooklyn, New York City. I'm here with Peter Skoma, who was our composer for the credits of Activities of Daily Living, our YouTube film. Um, I'm just going to have a little chat with him about um, being a composer, about how he wrote the credits, and his recent course at the Brooklyn College. Peter, do you want to tell us a bit about yourself? Sure. Uh, my name is Peter Skoma. On uh, Instagram and YouTube, I go under Lucian Rhodes. Uh, I recently uh, we happened to be kind of nearby, so yeah. we, we set up this little interview. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm a composer. Um, I just finished up a, uh, a master's degree here in Brooklyn uh, in media scoring. So I'm out in the real world trying to pursue my dreams. And <laughs> it's, it's difficult out in the real world. <laughs> it's difficult out in the real world. But uh, I, I've been following the QTube for a couple of years, pretty much right when the QTube yeah, started. Yeah. And um, you guys put out this contest, and I was very fortunate to be one of the composers for the film. Yeah, it was. It, it's such a great project. Like bringing everyone together for this was so so nice, and to have the film now finished um, is great. You guys are gonna love the scores when you hear it. Um, yeah, it's going to be great. Do you want to tell us a little bit about your master's degree at Brooklyn College? Sure, sure. So it's a uh, film school through Brooklyn College called Fierstein Graduate School of Cinema. And uh, it's a little film school of directors. Um, uh, we got editors, we got animators, and then there's also like a music department. There's media scoring and there's sonic arts. So I uh, joined in on the media scoring end back in 2019 and sort of just been little by little trying to finish up that degree during the pandemic and it was uh yeah it was really great i got to uh, work with some really great composers uh uh who are also in the program but also the professors um jonathan zalbin uh patrick irwin uh pat irwin who was was a part of b-52s and he wrote the music to rocco's modern life oh, nice. uh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he's done some uh, other a uh, bunch of uh, shows along yeah. his career. So yeah, it was a really great experience and it really was like the launching point of my um, film composer yeah. career. Yeah, absolutely. And so, you know, I know people hate hearing about it now, but how was being a composer at university during the pandemic? Like, how was that for you? For me, it, it was okay because what I did was I sort of took some breaks, I went part-time. So I only took certain classes that felt right to do remotely because uh, before going into the program, my aim goal was to start networking and meet people, yeah. build yeah. relationships. And uh, so I just, I was in no rush to really finish. I just wanted to make sure that like I would wait until uh, things kind of cleared up and I can go back in. And it kind of worked out because I, I met a whole group of people in the beginning and then the pandemic happened. And then when I kind of went back this year full time, yeah. Um, I got to meet a whole new set of directors and composers and it was like I did it twice. Yeah, amazing. Yeah, yeah. lovely. So I made some really good connections there. Yeah, absolutely. And so you wrote the credits music for Activities of Daily Living, our YouTube film. Mm -hmm. How was that experience? <laughs> it was so much fun. I'm so happy to do it. Um, it was a little bit of a challenge. I got a little bit of a description. I can tell that like you guys were like, yeah, just have fun with it. Just Yeah, yeah. It, it, I, I, I guess I used my entry piece as like sort of the inspiration. Uh, yeah, yeah. Though so, um, after seeing some of the artwork of what the credits would be rolling over, that's what gave me the initial idea of like what direction to go in. Yeah. So um, yeah, I sat down and I just kind of uh, played some tune on the piano, and I was listening to a lot of Super Tramp. Oh right, yeah. Recently, yeah, so yeah. I don't know if that's coming through, but I'm using the <laughs> electric piano. Super Tramp. Actually, that's that's funny. If anyone knows Super Tramp, Breakfast yeah. in America. Now I'm thinking of the the album cover. So I had that uh, uh, that record on display, uh, and what I was like, I, I, I'm just gonna feel out this like Super Tramp vibe. And... Awesome. Yeah, yeah. It was really nice. A nice like kind of orchestral arrangement, and it had some electric piano in there, and it sounded yeah really cool. Mm -hmm. um, it worked really really well for the credits. We thought it was kind of spot on. Um, yeah, and how was the, I, I know on our end it was kind of 
like we were working on the film so we were all quite busy and it was like just we were kind of just throwing things at you I mean you started with like just like a, a few fade-ins no no kind of um none of the artwork for any of the um for any of the credits but once once the artwork was there it was kind of yeah, right yeah, easier, yeah. Right? first I had like little black screens with yeah. like first fade second yeah. fade and it was about 20 something seconds long yeah so yeah. I mean it was a little confusing at first but then I just took that as like okay they're they're yeah. I should just write something <laughs> yeah right? yeah not... I, it was that to yeah. be honest yeah <laughs> it was just kind of hear what hear what you can do and mm -hmm. during the contest um that we ran um to be the one of the composers on the film um we were looking for kind of like what style would fit what part of the film um and so your your entry was like oh, okay this would be really really nice for the credits so um so yeah that's what that kind of ended up happening um yeah 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 no i was excited and, and the other composers who were part of it did a really great job too. yeah yeah absolutely so how was composing for a scene from the film for the contest what, you know how did you approach that it was I've done a few uh, scoring contests before, so I was definitely kind of prepared um, to just kind of knock it out. Like yeah. I, I put, I put effort into it, <laughs> but yeah. I, I had a short time frame of doing it, and especially in between the studies of the finishing up my degree, I, I remember carving out like uh, a Saturday night, and I was just like, okay, my only focus. I'm gonna forget about everything. I'm just gonna <laughs> work on this entry, yeah. and uh, it was fun doing the two pieces because um, you got to kind of like you know create a theme yeah, and then yeah, play around yeah. with it but uh it was uh, well my first impression <laughs> was like the first scene yeah. and uh my my first thought was like how how does music go over it's this? A, it's yeah. a tricky one <laughs> it is a really tricky one that first scene and we uh we found it very difficult to f you know find what was right but yeah mm -hmm. yeah um because it's very like <laughs> It's obviously a comedic scene, but it's like it's very heavy and like you know w what's in there. It's basically just an old lady going to the toilet, struggling to go to the toilet with the help of her carer. Yeah. Um, so yeah, what was that, that was? <laughs> well, like you know, it was a comedic scene, so it was like I to I didn't want to overdo the comedy, yeah. right? Yeah. And like I can tell, like through the uh, the scene, the 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 woman. Her personality was kind of coming through yeah. just by her responses so i was sort of like scoring like her like yeah. not necessarily her on the toilet but she just happened to be on the right. toilet yeah, <laughs> so yeah. i was just trying to like bring out her character through that part uh her asserting herself in that moment um and it took me a little while to get the right kind of flavor and I was like playing, first I was playing around with chords and then I was like, I don't know if this is a chord thing, I think it's a timbre thing. So I, yeah. I started plunking out the thing on the xylophone, an instrument I don't really ever go to, but yeah. I, I started just kind of jamming on that. I was like, I think this is, this is where it needs to go. Yeah. 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 And absolutely. Like I find that going to instruments that you don't really use or, you know, playing, <clears throat> playing around with the instruments you do use in a different way can be like, you can find something that actually fits what you're what you're looking for if it's quite difficult to find what you're looking for anyway with that scene so have you scored any of the other clips that we've done on the qtube so like i've been following qtube for a few years and um i did use some of their original uh cues that they put up the 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 ocean yeah yeah was it just called ocean yeah I yeah think, the yeah. little nature doc and yeah. uh, i, I that was a great one because I've been wanting to try some nature doc style things. Yeah, so yeah, that was that's fun. I, I did that as a little practice piece for myself. Um, but I went through a bunch of them. Actually, I had um, a group of my friends, a couple other composers. We had uh, we had, but maybe we still do a, a thing called Cinema Sound Bites. It was four composers, and we would um, just try to come up with like some YouTube videos. It was a podcast. We'd interview film oh, filmmakers. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, so. Um, anyway, we did, we took a clip from, uh, QTube. It was one of the trailer clips and that, that YouTube video was, we were going to score using five Spitfire Labs instruments and we oh, had nice, to pick them nice. from random and then we scored, but we used the QTube as, uh, the source yeah, for what we were scoring. Yeah. So, awesome. 
did that and also I've used it with students. So some of my teachings oh, I've used amazing. the piano, amazing. the lost piano. Yeah, yeah. I had a student do a do a run through on that one once. Uh, so it comes up quite often and I, I, I submitted uh, Spring uh, for review. Actually, yeah. I think Claire oh, yeah, did yeah. do a review on oh, that awesome. one. Yeah. Amazing. That yeah. was really cool. So I've been following. It's it's great. It's wonderful. And I'm excited to see like where it keeps headed. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And, and I love the work that you do. Yeah, that's interesting that you say that it comes up in your teaching because that's something we really want to get into is be able to provide um, students with footage, particularly students and those mm -hmm. starting out with footage to have for their, you know, their portfolios before they even, you know, go out into the real world because it's quite difficult to like it's you need to get jobs you need to have stuff that you've worked on but but to have stuff you've worked on you need to get a job so it's quite difficult to um we we really want to kind of tackle that yeah and make sure that people have something that they can work from initially yeah. yep it's definitely the first place i would think too if you want to practice your scoring chops so awesome uh, yeah there's enough there yeah. yeah there's plenty and we're we're you know releasing more stuff all the time and actually the quality of our videos is going up all the time so we'll be releasing a few more over the next uh couple months we've got a few more in the bank that we're ready to release so what what are your plans for going forward um going out into the real world and you know releasing your own music and yeah what are your plans for that uh right now my plan is to um do some traveling and make some connections so this is which works out really good you're, yeah. you're here on yeah. my turf um, I'm going out to LA in October uh, for the month and I'm going to be in Berlin and Vienna um, next month. Amazing. Yeah. So uh, fortunately the work I do is all remote so uh, I'd love to come out to London and uh, network and meet yeah, and yeah. make some new friends um, over there as well. That's on my list. So um, that's that's mainly kind of what I'm focused on. I'm going to keep writing and doing what I do. and. Um, I've scored a couple of short films this year and see if I can follow up with any of those directors or, you know, how it goes. It's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. just like you, yeah. you just keep up the, the, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the yeah. ever rotating yeah. cycle <laughs> yeah, you just, yeah. you just keep going. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I plan to do. No, just keep well, going. yeah. You're always welcome to London. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so th there's a really great film scene over there. I think, mm -hmm. um, I don't know too much about the film scene over here, to be honest, because I haven't done too much work over here. Yeah, I think so, um, it's, re it's really important to travel and kind of make connections in lots of different places. Uh, you're able to, you know, get a gauge on how the film scene is in different areas. And it's really interesting to see how like different styles come through based on what, what you know, country you're in. Mm -hmm. like, um, so, you know, like European film, American film, Asian, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, they're all very different styles based on, um, you know, where you are in the world, which is great to see. And I'd love to work on different, like, things in Asia. Like, I love Korean film and that kind of thing. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, me How too. How about you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. same. I'm, I'm curious about so many things. It's, uh, I think that's, you know, film compo media composers are sort of the musicians who like everything <laughs> yeah th yeah that's true yeah <laughs> yeah so like it's like yeah i'll do that yeah i want to yeah. see that i want to try that yeah yeah and it's it's like it's so important to travel because we just work from our studios all the time and like getting inspiration from elsewhere is so important because otherwise you're just going to be in an echo chamber basically um yeah. with your work um and you're not going to be inspired so yeah traveling is such an important thing i think okay peter thank you so much for joining us um, thank you uh it was a pleasure speaking to you we'll link down below um peter's channel and his um some of his work his website that kind of thing so absolutely check him out he's done a great job on activities of daily living so yeah thanks for that peter remember to like subscribe and ding the bell to be notified when we release more like this on the youtube channel um also if you'd like access to our library of unscored videos you can head over to our website you can access the whole library you can access my demos for each of the videos you can get feedback once a month from me or another composer and yeah so check that out thanks so much for watching bye bye now